Hey guys, this is just a quick video that's going to run through some of the main um, bones in the body as they're related to the joints. So starting up at the top, we have the skull. When we get into that region, we'll identify those, bo identify those bones a little bit more specifically. The top section of our spine is called our cervical spine, followed by our thoracic spine, and then our lumbar spine. Starting with the upper extremity, we have the clavicle, the humerus, the radius. Now it's important when we look at the forearm to make sure we remember the radius is always on the thumb side. And then the ulna, which is always opposite to the thumb. So make sure when you're identifying those bones, you look at the position of the thumb. Moving into the lower extremity, we have the humerus, the patella, the tibia, which is always on the side of the great toe, and then the fibula. Moving back up to the hips, we have the ilium. We'll get a little more specific with that with some time. We have the sacrum. At the bottom, we have the coccyx. So looking at the posterior side, here we have the scapula or the shoulder blade. We have our humerus again. We can see the clavicle on the top. Then we have our cervical spine. And we have our thoracic spine. When we look specifically at the hand, this small section of bones is called the carpal bones. The next single bone is called the metacarpal. And then we have our phalanges on the end. Remember when we talk about the, the hand and the foot, we number the digits one through five, beginning with the thumb or the big toe and ending with our pinky toe or our small finger. Again, on the thumb side, we have the radius, the ulna. When we look at our pelvis again specifically, we had our sacrum, we have the ilium, we have the femur. Down here was our lumbar spine. So starting with the foot, through here, we have our tarsal bones, followed by our metatarsal. and then our phalanges. Okay, so the tarsal bones end here, metatarsals here, and then our phalanges are on the end. Remember, we number again one through five, beginning with the big toe. In the lower extremity, we have the fibula on the baby toe side and the tibia on the side of the great toe.